three minute trader tip, the pipe chart pattern. One of the less commonly used, but possibly one of the more reliable chart patterns that exist when looking at price action and change in sentiment is something called the pipe. Let's just give you a description of this in terms of its anatomy. And we'll focus on the pipe bottom, which is bullish. So we invariably have a downtrend which ends in this particular pattern where we get a long bearish candle followed by a long bullish candle, which is of equal length. The emphasis here is that these are long candles. They may or may not have wicks, of course, but subsequently we have a close with a higher bullish candle to confirm the pattern is complete. The mirror of this is obviously the pipe top where we get an uptrend then we get these two key candles, though in opposite order where we have the bullish candle first and then the bearish candle of equal length to the downside and then subsequently the lower candle. If looking at this, and we'll give you a couple of examples in a minute, there's a couple of challenges. First of all, what size of candle do we mean by long? Is it two times ATR of the particular time frame you're looking at? And secondly, where do we place our stop? It may be that these candles are so long, if we aim to place our stop below them, then that could result in a smaller position or a larger loss. So that's something else you need to consider. Let's just have a look at a couple of examples just to illustrate pipe in action. Here we have the Aussie JPY in the four hour chart. You can see this isn't quite the same length as this. So we have to wait for the subsequent candle just to take us down there. If we had a six hour chart, we would see that being a pipe in completion, but that's okay. And it's why I include this example, but we can't enter this until we get a bearish candle to the downside, which breaks the closing bottom of the pipe. So this would be the candle we will be interested in. And you can see there, we have also got higher volume and then we get the subsequent down move. The second example I'm gonna give is a more clearer example of this as we covered on the slides. And this is on the NASDAQ 100 on the 30 minute chart. Because of course these can occur on any time frame on any instrument. You'll see there, there's the textbook pipe, very long bearish candle, very long bullish candle at the end of a downtrend. And there's our confirmation candle there. And subsequently, of course, we got a small run up of around about a hundred points. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.